so I've just been going through the pages of my autobiography. This book was published three years ago. And there is a particular poem entitled within these pages, Inklings of a Black Christ. Well, the poem, surely, must not be confused with the book itself entitled Inklings of a Black Christ. The poem complements the book. So here we go then for the poem. Elements, 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 elements interplaying in order to bring the likes of you and me into appropriate identification with what might best be described as the, should we say, European version of the Christ. Incidentally, we have been socialized into the acceptance of the notion that the creator of the universe has no color. In the same breath, culture operating within the forefront of the mind of Pope Julius II has so enabled him to command, commission painters, the likes of Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo, to come forward and enjoy the rights and privileges of painting the Christ within a vernacular which is decidedly European. His hair is blonde and his eyes are blue. Should not all of us be free to appropriate those self-same rights in ways to market, package, and present the Christ with facial phenotypical features reflecting our own race or racial profile. Incidentally, while we're on it, the book Inklings of a Black Christ is forged and tempered with the desire to make the case that Western scholarship, all be it Western monopolist, imperialist powers, have failed to incorporate in their own definition of the Christ the African definition as we now know it. Thanks be to our researchers. Uh, th that will be ten pounds, please. End of story. <laughs> Thank you.